Tonight we're hearing from a woman who survived the Boston Marathon bombing. Heather Abbott lost most of her left leg in that attack, which happened four years ago this month, but she is refusing to give up. Our Ryan Korsgaard is live now with her remarkable spirit. Ryan. And she tells us that she really relied on the help of others to move on. Now she is offering that very same support. Three people died when two bombs went off at the finish line of the Boston Marathon four years ago this month. Nearly 300 people were hurt. That includes Heather Abbott. It's always kind of a bittersweet day because there certainly are a lot of bad memories associated with it. She was a spectator at the finish line when the bombs exploded. This day, she was the guest speaker at the Health Museum here in Houston. Each table was decorated with prosthetics, advances in medicine that helped Heather move on. It was uh, involved a lot of accepting what it couldn't change. Uh, relying on other people for support, particularly people who had been through what I had been through, um, and then taking an opportunity to pay it forward. Her left leg was amputated below the knee after she was blown into the entrance of a restaurant when the bombs went off. Trying to talk to other people who have had success and um, learning from them has been very helpful. She shared her secrets for never stopping. Since then, she started the Heather Abbott Foundation and is now a peer counselor for the American Amputee Coalition now bringing her hope to Houston. Never count us out. That no matter how tough it gets or what circumstances life may place us in, that we are always in the game. Absolutely, and she tells me next she wants to grow her foundation, helping other people with prosthetics. And get this, her next project, helping someone with prosthetic fingers. We're live in Memorial Park, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.